Hello, today we'll be demonstrating the UniDrive M700 add-on instruction block into the RS Logic 5000 software. Today we will be showing the drive side of setting up this AOI. First we will set up motor information. So we have a 1.6 amp motor, 3000 RPM, 230 volt is a 10 pole motor. We'll now set up our encoder information. This is an NDAT encoder. And right now we have a trip encoder trip. Set reset now. Our trip is gone. We're inhibited. We will now auto tune our motor. 0.40 to 2. And we'll come back up and put our drive into keypad mode. So that way we don't have to have an input right now to run the auto tune. We'll come up here, we will enable the drive. You can see our ready. And we'll give it the run command. And now we have our little bell, and you will also see the word auto tune as the drive performs auto tune. Once the auto tune is complete, we will disable the drive and save our parameters. Next, we will go to the slot 4 menu to set up the IP address so that way we can communicate using the UniDrive MConnect software. First, we will want to go disable the DHCP. So, this is slot 4, menu 2, parameter 5. And we'll turn this to off. This will allow us to set a static IP address for the drive. We will have the drive set for 192.168.1.100, that's default, that's fine for this. We will now need to reset the slot 4 module, so we will go to menu 0, parameter 7, and turn this to on. This will automatically toggle back to off and take you to menu 0, parameter 0. Now we will save our parameters, save our changes. Now that we have set up our drive data and our motor data, we can go to scan ethernet network. This will scan the ethernet network for the drives that are connected. And it found one, 192.168.100. Now that the project has loaded, we will want to do an upload from drive to get that motor information that we have already set up along with the tuning parameters after we ran the auto tune. Once we've done an upload, we will want to import in our macro file that comes with the AOI once it's downloaded. You will want to browse to wherever you've saved that information and select which drive you're working with, in this case the M702 macro file. We will open that. You can now see that it has been imported into our project. And we can see the various parameters that this will add and change. We can also see the ethernet network, slot four ethernet parameters, the input and output, mapping for the AOI. We will want to load these values into our project. Say okay. And now we